what's going on everyone and welcome back it's going to be a short video today this is actually part two of setting up your winch with a battery delete on the quick connect disconnect connectors we showed in part one show you just a couple tips and tricks that i used and something not to do because you're going to crack the connector but uh let me show you where we're at and then we'll wrap up this and and um hopefully it's a, a useful video for you all right, I didn't do a video on mounting my winch, right? So there's a lot of videos out there on mounting winches. Um, right now I just have it primered. I'm gonna come back over with some paint before I go home today. But my winch is there. And what I did is I went to Home Depot. I'll post the pictures of what I actually purchased. It was, it was tough to find grommets. I made this a two inch. I uh, took a, a, metal saw, a metal hole saw a bit and cut a two inch hole in my box so I could run my cables. It's, um, I did that on purpose just in case I need to uh, run additional wires later on. And what I did is I went to the electrical section of Home Depot because it didn't have any two inch grommets. And I picked up a um, bushing, which is here. And then I picked, actually I picked up a pack of these. They come in a pack of four or five. And then I just picked up um, any two inch threaded electrical connector in the area, like 50 cents, 60 cents. I took a bandsaw and cut it off and then on the front side so basically you're left with the threads i'll show you what that looks like on a picture and um you take in in between here and on the back side you can see it back there uh, there it is you can see it right there just take the threaded piece that you have remaining it's it's not even a half inch it's a little over a quarter and you connect those together and you have a nice insulated um, area um, channel that you can run your wires through so what I'm gonna do now and I did test this this morning to make sure everything works is I'm gonna take these um, positive and negative leads off of the winch and I'm going to connect them to these positive and negative butt splice and then I'm gonna take the heavy-duty heat shrink and then I'm gonna put the connectors to the back of the truck and show you the connector. The one thing I do want to show you, if you look down inside of here, that is how they should sit when you're when they're perfectly seated. I didn't do a video of them um, pushing them in and, cl and clicking, but you push them in all the way forward and you will hear them click. And then you know they're seated. Uh, if you don't do that, you're not going to have a connection and you're not going to have power and you're going to wonder what's going on. And then make sure that when you do your crimping, that you can see how these wires go in. If you crimp them the wrong way, they're not going to fit because it's possibly going to flatten out and you're going to crack the connector. I know because that's what I did. Glad I had an extra one. But that's what they should look like on the inside. So give me about 10 more minutes so I get this all plugged in and hooked up and show you what it looks like and power the winch up. All right, guys, to show you what we have this winch installed on, this is the 22-footer, a 12,000-pound worn winch. Um, have it all completed. I'm just going to show you the connection real quick. I have a wireless charger that came with the winch and releases. And I have it down here just tighten up. Everything works. The one thing I'll say is this is the connection coming out there's a homegrown homemade um, grommet from the electrical section of Home Depot runs out I don't have the trailer connected to the truck you can see how much space or how much length of extra cable is still there so you, you mean if you just need to run power go right ahead without having to hook your truck up um, or the trailer to the truck the only thing I'm going to do later on is I'm going to come back and I'm going to remove these two splices and I'm going to add a, an additional connector off of this set. Um, basically terminals, not connectors, battery terminals. I'm going to put a, a cover or a cap over them in case I ever want to lease the trailer out or let someone borrow the trailer that doesn't have this, that doesn't have that set up, they can use it. So I'm not going to post a video, but something you're thinking about. Maybe you come back and splice these again and you add a set of battery terminals to this and then you have a multifunctional, um, put a battery in there, let someone borrow it or lease your trailer out. But that is it. The only last advice I have 
is before you connect everything, got everything painted, before you connect everything and you heat shrink it all and it's all done, get your uh, voltmeter out and actually test that you actually have power running to your winch. Um, you don't want to connect all up and find out you, you didn't do something right and you have no idea and you got to take it back apart. That's the only other thing I'd say um, do. But I hope you guys, if you use this setup, and um, I hope that you find it useful. If you liked the video, please hit like, subscribe, share. I think someone already recommended it. So whoever did that, thank you much. But this is it. You guys have a great one.